Hey guys, it's Erica. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get this gold eye look and these glossy lips. So if you want to see how I did that, keep on watching. Also, please subscribe to my videos and leave me feedback in the comments below. So to start off this routine, I'm taking my Cetaphil Daily Moisturizer. I'm just going to put a couple pumps of that on my face. I have really dry skin, so this just helps my makeup not look so cakey on my face and scaly. Next, I'm taking my e.l.f. Hydrating Primer, and I'm just going to put that on my nose and my forehead, and a little bit on my chin. Um, next, I'm going in with my Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. And I'm taking a damp beauty blender and I'm going to pour this on the beauty blender and dot that all over my face and start buffing it in. And make sure to blend your foundation down onto your neck if you didn't quite get the right shade like I did because then it just helps it look more natural. Now I'm taking the foundation again and I'm just going to put a little bit underneath my eyes. I don't use concealer so I use this to cover up my dark circles. Next I'm taking my e.l.f. under eye powder. And I'm picking that up on a Sephora flat brush. And I'm just going to place, brush a little bit of that underneath my eyes to just set that foundation that I put under there in place and kind of brighten up my under eyes a little bit. So next I'm taking my Urban Decay Priming Potion in the color Original. And I'm just going to swipe a little bit of that on my eyelids and I'm going to rub it in. Once that has all been rubbed in, I'm going back in with my e.l.f. powder and I'm just going to set the eyelids with a little bit of that so it makes it easier to blend out the eyeshadow. Next I'm going in with this Sephora Z palette that I created myself. A lot of these colors I actually depanned from other eyeshadow palettes, including like an Urban Decay Naked 2 palette and a Urban Decay Neutrals palette. So the first shade I'm going in with is this one, and it's from the Naked Neutrals palette. I'm not really sure what it's called, but I'm just taking it on a Sephora blending brush. I'm just going to buff it into my crease right here and just keep buffing it in. Okay, next I'm going in with this more mauve shade and this is actually from the Naked 2 palette. And I'm going to concentrate that a little bit lower in my crease. And just make sure you're blending the two shades together so you don't get any harsh lines. So next I'm going in with this gold shade. It's a buxom single eye shadow and I'm using my Urban Decay brush. And I'm taking the flat side and I'm putting that gold shade on my eyelid in the corner and dragging it to halfway on my eyelid. And then I'm going to take the fluffy side and blend it in with my crease shade. Okay, next I'm taking this light gold shade. It's from the Naked 2 palette. And I'm putting that towards the front of my eyelid. And just kind of paint it on. So next I'm taking this light shade and it is also from the Naked Neutrals palette. And I'm going back in with my flat brush. And I'm just going to put that underneath my brow bone to diffuse a little bit of that crease shade so it's not as harsh on my brow bone. So next I'm going in with my Essence Bronzer and I'm taking a big fluffy Sephora brush. And I'm just putting that a little bit underneath my cheekbones. You can kind of see that. And then I'm putting it on my chin. 
and kind of bring that up a little bit and a little bit on the ears. And I'm going to put a little bit of that on my temples. Then I'm putting some more on my forehead. And then I'm going to put some down my neck. And now we have a bronzed up face. Next, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild blush in pearlescent pink. And again, I'm going in with that same fluffy brush. I'm just going to dab a little bit of that onto my cheeks to kind of put some color back in my face. That is really pigmented. I think I added a little bit too much. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows and eyelashes off camera. So now that I've done my lashes and brows, I'm going to take the L'Oreal Lumi Illuminator and I'm going to be going in with these two shades and I'm going to be highlighting my cheeks, nose, forehead, Cupid's bow. And I'm taking the same Sephora flat brush. And I'm just gonna focus that where the light would touch your cheeks. And this just gives you a nice natural glow that's not too intense but you can build it up if you are into that intense highlighted look so now that our cheekbones are highlighted I'm going to highlight my nose a little bit just kind of take that very lightly I'm going to diffuse it out with my finger now I'm just going to take a little bit of that highlighter and put it on my forehead. I'm going to dust a little bit of it on my Cupid bow as well. Also I'm going to take this and put it underneath the arch in my eyebrow. Kind of put it underneath my whole, on my whole entire brow bone. So now that we've done that, I'm taking a small Sephora brush with a pointed tip and I'm just taking those same highlighter shades again. I'm going to place that in the corner of my eye just to brighten it up and not make the mascara so intense. So now that we've done that, I'm going in with my NYX Butter Gloss. I don't know if you can see that. And it's in the shade Creme Brulee. And I'm just gonna swipe that all over my lips for a nice glossy finish. I just like the glossy look right now because I feel like everyone's using matte lipsticks and it just kind of changes things up. So here is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please let me know what you guys wanna see, what videos you guys want me to make, if you want feedback. Please subscribe to my videos. That would mean so much to me and leave me comments below on what I can change for you guys. I love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next video.